When a big snowstorm strikes, at some point, we're going to have to dig out from under it. But snow shoveling injuries land thousands of people in the emergency room each year, and 96% of them happen at home. Dr. James Soto is an emergency room doctor at Cleveland Clinic. He says common injuries occur as the result of a slip and fall. Slipping and falling, hitting your hand, you know, causing an injury, a break, you know, a fracture, but at least you're protecting your head. That's the most important. You know, sacrificing a, a, a limb, hurting your hand and saving your head because having your head hit the ice, especially when it comes black ice um, and getting a subdural hematoma, blood inside the brain, can be devastating for a lot of people. Sprains, strains, and fractures are always near the top of the list of snow shoveling related injuries. They're usually caused by slipping and twisting. Overexertion is also considered a common cause for emergency room visits after snow shoveling. It can cause dehydration, fatigue, and in some cases, heart attack. If you could do something that's in light, moderate activity, doesn't get yourself huffing and puffing too much, that's fine. But if you have a heart problem, high blood pressure, chronic back problems, those are things that it would be best deferred to somebody else to do for you. You're also at an increased risk for lower back injuries when you're shoveling. They're usually caused when you try to lift too much snow or you lift it improperly. And lots of people end up in the ER after being hit by a shovel, usually after slipping. Dr. Soto says the other thing to remember is to dress properly to prevent hypothermia dress in layers and as you start getting heated up you take a top layer off to cool off a little bit if you're going to be out there for a long time you start to break a sweat then you calm down the sweat wets your clothes the clothes stay wet now they get cold and that's how you become hypothermic dr Soto says to take frequent breaks and be sure to have proper footwear to prevent slipping